In this short tutorial, I would like to show you how to add a calculated field in a Microsoft Excel pivot table. So a calculated field, it's a value that uh, we can derive from other values that uh, we have. So for example, right here, I created a pivot table where I have a breakdown of revenues per quarter and uh, a breakdown by year. And over here on column C, I have something uh, called branded revenues. And uh, this is uh, how much money were made from branded sales of a particular company. And I think a really useful piece of data right here, it would be to know what's the percentage of the branded revenue compared to the total revenue. So to do that in Excel in a pivot table, we can use a calculated field. To add a calculated field, it's actually pretty simple. We have to click anywhere in the pivot table so that uh, the pivot table options can be activated. And then I can go to analyze and from here, go to the calculations uh, group and click on fields, items and sets. And from here, click on calculated fields. Now, this is the insert calculated uh, field wizard. And at first it may be pretty confusing, but we have here the name, we can enter whatever we want. I'm gonna add percent of branded revenue. Now there's a formula that we can use here, but we cannot use absolute references. For example, I cannot add C2 divided by B2 that's going to be illegal in this calculated field. And we have to use the fields in here. And the calculated fields in Excel will work uh, on the same row. For example, right here, we're going to divide the branded revenue into the actual revenue. And so the formula would be equal. I'm gonna go to the branded revenue and click insert field. Then I'm gonna add a slash to divide. And then I'm going to select the revenue per quarter and hit insert and when I hit OK first it added a new field right here and now we're going to change the formatting of this because this is not uh, not what we want I'm gonna go to home and click on percentage and we're also going to change this to just say percentage of branded revenues align everything center and this is pretty much it this is how you add a calculated field in Microsoft Excel in a pivot table. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.